Welcome to Processing for Arduino, episode number two, sliders. So in this tutorial, I just simply, or for this tutorial, I just simply got um, an LED here connected to uh, pin 11 on the Arduino because um, we need to use a PWM pin for this because what we're going to do is use the slider to control the brightness of this LED. Now, you could use this for other applications. You could use it to control the speed of a motor or other things. Um, just for this tutorial, make it nice and simple because this is a beginner's tutorial. I'm just going to use an LED to show you how this works and then let you take it from there. So you can see here, um, this is the, the program we're going to be making right here. And it's just a slider. And when it opens up, it starts out right in the middle um, at 125. And you see when I bring it down, the LED gets dimmer. I bring it up, the LED gets brighter. Real, real simple uh, program to set up here. There's not a whole lot of code to do it. It's uh, about as easy to do as the last tutorial when we looked at the buttons. As you can see there, all the way down, it's off. All the way up, it's all the way on. All right. Um, well, I've showed you it working here, and like I said, I'm using um, pin 11 on the Arduino. You could use different pins, and when we get over to the Arduino sketch, I'll show you if you want to change pins. It's really easy to do. We couldn't use the onboard uh, pin 13 because that's not a PWM pin, so we couldn't use the onboard LED. So, all right, with that, um, well, why don't we just get over. Um, we'll go to processing, and we'll take a look at the... Um, how to set that up on processing, and then we'll go to the Arduino ID and check that out. So I'll catch you there in just a second. Okay, I've got processing opened up here. Now, um, if you've missed the previous episode, um, you are going to need a library for this, and we're using the Control P5 library. Um, just quickly, if you don't have it, just uh, go under Sketch. Click on M or go to import library, click on add library, and right here in the filter, just type in control P5. And right here, this is the library you need to install. Now, I already have it, so I don't need to install it, but that's all you need to do. Now, we're also using the serial library, but don't worry, that is already built into processing, so you will not need to download it. All right, next here, we're just naming uh, the serial, we're calling it port. Um, if you're using more ports, um, that's something we're going to get into later. Then you'd have port like one, two, whatever. Don't change this. Um, right here, this is the control P5, CP5, we're naming, the, um, naming it. This is another thing, don't change it because most people when they're using the control p5 library and the same thing when they're using the ports they they don't change this stuff that way when other people look at their sketches you you know what's going on you're not using different names and it just makes it confusing so i do not recommend changing this at all so just leave that all right uh this right here was something that got left in there from another project i was doing sorry about that i can actually just get rid of that all right um, <clears throat> now in the void setup first thing we're doing is we're setting the size of the window for our program and I just did a 300 by 300 we don't need a very big window for that then what we're doing is we're um, getting our serial port started up here well defining what port we're using I'm using com3 once again if you missed the first episode on how to figure out what com you're on just go in your Arduino IDE and whatever COM port you are using to upload your sketch to your Arduino board, as long as you are using the same one to control the Arduino, you put that in here. Now, there, you can use Bluetooth, so that would be something we're going to be covering here in just a couple more episodes. You just have to change this. Whatever COM port you are using to control, the Arduino you need to have in here. If you're using Bluetooth, whatever your Bluetooth adapter COM port is, is what you put here. Otherwise, we're using wired, and I'm just using COM3. 
And then we're also using our baud rates, 9600. That's very common. That works fine. Just make sure if you change it, you do as well in your Arduino IDE. Now here we're just initializing the, the control P5 stuff. So once again, don't change this. Just leave it alone. Um, later on in a few episodes, when we get into some more advanced stuff, I will go through and explain what all this is. But this is a beginner's tutorial, so I don't think you really want me to go into all that right now. All right, next um, we're setting up um, our slider. And uh, so we're doing the CP5.add slider. And I'm just calling LED because we're using it to control the LED. Uh, actually, let me open it up here. And right here, whatever name you put right here is what will appear here. Down below, it'll be the name of it. So just remember that whatever you want that slider called and be displayed right here is the name you want to put here between your quotations. All right, I can stop that. So then next, what we're doing is a dot set position, and that's the X and Y of the upper left corner. Uh, then we're doing the, the dot set size, and that's the width and height. Now I'm doing a vertical slider. If you want to do a horizontal, you just make um, the first number needs to be bigger if you want horizontal. If you want it vertical, the first number needs to be smaller, not bigger. Easy, and um, that's how you set if you want a vertical or horizontal slider. Now I've actually never tried putting in like 50 and 50 or 250, 250. That, um, like, well, actually, you know what? Why don't we find out what that does real quick here? Just do that. Okay, just gives you a square slider. <laughs> That's interesting, all right. Just something to try out quick there. All right, I'll put that back where it is. All right, next um, we got our set the range, and that's the range, the value of the slider. And I'm just doing 0 to 255 because we want to send a value of between 0 and 255 to the Arduino. Next, we're doing a dot set value. And that's where you want the slider to be at when the program starts. So I've just got it set in 125. That's roughly metal. Not exact. Um, you got, you know, an extra five to the top. You could, you know, go 126, whatever, 27, but it just works out fine. Whatever you want the start value to be, put that right here. Now next is we're doing the colors. Let me bring this back up again so I can show you here. All right, we're doing the dot set color background. And it's RGB, red, green, blue. And um, this this one here, the set background, that's what will appear as the top color. You can see here, that's the background color, what will be shown when if the slider is all the way to zero. And uh, also quick, um, if you want to change colors, do custom colors under tools, you can go to color selector and it'll bring this up here. And just select your color, and when you get the color that's right here, is the color you want, you can get your R, G, B value right here, and then you punch those values in right there. All there is to that. Bring that up again. Now the foreground color, that is going to be the bottom of the slider, and we're doing green because it's red, green, blue. So we're doing 255 and 00, so it's all green. Next is... Um, we're doing the dot, dot set color value, and we're doing uh, 255, 255, 255. Um, that's white, and that's setting this color right here. And um, actually, I do believe it sets the color for this as well. I do believe. Sorry, I forgot to check into that, but I do believe... That's what that does as well. Then we got our dot, dot set color active. That's the mouse over color, and of course red's the first, so we're doing 255, 0, 0. So you see when I mouse over it, it turns it red. Now if you didn't want it to change to red, you just do it, you know, if you want it to be green, you just change uh, this to 0 and do this 255, and it would be green. It wouldn't change color when you moused over it, but... It's up to you if you want to do that or not. All right, uh, <clears throat> with that, that's all we need in the void setup. 
So I can go ahead and close that out. Now, down in the void draw, we're just setting the, the color to the background. And 000, that's black. If you wanted the background white, it'd be 255, 255, 255. That would make it white. Now, we're going down to the void LED. Now, this is the what happens when the slider moves. Now, between the parentheses here, normally you just got the two parentheses, but to get the value in, we have to do, and you put in int LED. And that's our integer that uh, we are using to um, send the value. So we're doing the port.write LED. We're sending that integer value that is coming from the LED. Now, you could set this to a float if you wanted decimals, but we want integer. We want a nice, even number. So that's all you got to do there. And then, like I said, then we just do a port.write, and we do the value LED. Oh, and that's right. That's why I had that int up there. I, uh, I had defined it to begin with, but I found out later on that you don't need to. You can just set it up here, and it brings it in, and it works fine. So... That, I can't think of anything else in processing here to go over. So, why don't we bring up here the Arduino sketch. Now, as you can see, the Arduino sketch is pretty basic and easy. This is the whole thing here. It's as easy as our last tutorial I did on buttons. So, let's get right into it. First, we're uh, just defining the LED is on pin 11. So if you're using a different pen, change this. Now remember, you have to use a PWM pen. Now I'm using Uno, so you can use pen 11. It works fine, but if you change it, just make sure to change that as well. Then we're doing an integer, and we're calling it value. And this is going to be the value um, that we bring in from processing. But to start with, when you first bring it up, it's not sending a value because you're not changing the slider. So what you do is make this match whatever <coughs> <coughs> excuse me there. Make this match whatever you have the uh, the start value in processing is. For the slider, make this match and I had it at 125, so I set it here as 125. Otherwise when it starts up the LED it would be all the way off. Then when you went to move the slider, it would just jump to wherever. So all right. Void setup, we're setting the, the pin mode for the LED, of course, is an output. Then we're going to go ahead and write that to it. So when it starts up, it'll be at the 125. It'll be about half brightness. Then we're uh, beginning our serial. And remember, if um, you're not using 9600 in processing, make sure you make both match. So you change that here. Next, in the void loop. And, oh, look at how complicated this is. <laughs> We're just doing an if statement here, if serial.available, which means there is serial data coming in, which means you move the slider. It brings it into our integer, the value. It just serial reads it and plops that value into there and then writes it to the LED. Bam, all done. That's all there is to it. All right. Well, um, <laughs> I do recommend... Um, to get the sketch um, and the processing code in the sketch, look in the description below. You'll find the link to the website. Go ahead, get that, copy and paste it into your, um, your Arduino IDE and into processing. Um, have some fun with this. Play with it because that is the best way you're going to learn this. Don't just copy it, paste it in there. Oh, I'm done. Play around with it. Change things around. Experiment. You're, you're not going to hurt nothing. And that is the best way you're going to learn how this works is playing with it. Now, also, as we get more advanced and into more through these tutorials, I am going to recommend don't just copy and paste the codes in. Type them in because it will help burn it into your memory, and it will help you learn this. I am serious. Taking the shortcut isn't the easiest way to learn. But on these first couple tutorials I'm doing here, we're just starting with the processing for Arduino. Just to get you going and help you get started, yeah, go ahead, copy, paste it in. You're... It's not going to hurt you, but I do recommend as you get further into this, start typing it in. All right, with that, I think we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Uh, like I said, 
Look in the description below. It'll bring you to the website. It'll have all the information, the codes and everything. Um, it'll all be on there. So um, Also, at the end of this video, I'll put uh, links for some of the other videos, like the previous one and the next one. All that. So, well, with that, I would like to thank you for joining us here at the Z-Hut today. I hope you found this information useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified when uh, new episodes are uploaded. So I hope you have a great day. And remember, have fun building.